Hello, my name is Richard Duck. I'm Store Operations Manager with Oculus. Our team ensures that when you're ready to submit your title for launch, it will pass all of our technical and content guidelines before launch. We're here to help and not to slow you down. The earlier you include testing your application and assets, the sooner we can prepare you for launch. It's important to remember that all of our customers want a consistent experience, and it just doesn't help them, but it helps you. Let's start with one of the most important parts of development and store submission, testing. Testing early and often. Not just your title, but your metadata and more can save you time and help propel your launch to success a lot faster. You'll need to make sure that you're testing on the right hardware. This may feel like a moving target, but it's important to have your application run on as much hardware as possible. By verifying that your application is performant on minimum spec hardware, you save time during a technical review process and are one step closer to launching your application. I'm going to reiterate that it's important to test on different hardware as well. You may find that your machine will run your application with no issue, but another computer might not. Again, it's important to test, test, test. I'm going to talk about our virtual reality checks next. There's a lot of facets around the core functionality of your application that are required to launch on the store. I'll go over them. Assets. Are your assets following the guidelines? Audio. Does your application target the right hardware? Compatibility. Are you using the right SDK, the right version of Unity, the right version of Unreal? Functional. Does the game have all the functional requirements? Can it run? Does it support HMD tracking and orientation? Input. Does it support all of the right inputs? Does it pause when the Oculus dashboard is open? Security. Entitlement checks, debug files, and more. Performance. Your application should meet all the performance requirements. Tracking. Does your metadata match the mode suggested? like room scale or sitting? This is an abbreviated list, and I'll cover assets later, but you'll find that a lot of these can be resolved by following the test plans we provide on the developer site. This tool is your friend. It'll help you find out if your application has any issues before submitting it to us. Again, this will save you a lot of time ahead of submission. You'll really want to use this, especially if you don't have a lot of testers available. The Oculus Debug tool, just like the VRC Validator, both of these tools will save you time and help verify that your application is ready for submission. Keep in mind that you'll need to have the minimum spec hardware during development to ensure that your applications are meeting their performance goals. This tool is especially useful in my experience, as you can track with extreme accuracy when your application may have performance issues. These are the most common PC failures for Rift applications. Please memorize these. By focusing your time on these three, you can reduce the number of VRC failures and number of submissions before you launch your title. Each time you fail, You'll need to spend development, creative, and testing time before resubmission. By spending time trying to eliminate these top three issues, you're helping move your launch forward. You should be creative. An entitlement check doesn't have to be boring. Here's an example from Pistol Whip by Cloudhead Games. This could have been just a dialogue box, yet it's engaging and a reminder for the user that's in line with the theme of the game. It's one of my personal favorite examples because it shows the surprise and delight you can generate from following our technical requirements. Please submit complete apps. Applications that are not complete or functional, but can still pass technical review, will not pass content review. We'll review your assets, your metadata, and the application itself, and so much more. So in order to save time, send in your application when it's fully ready to be reviewed by our team. We take into account the point of view of the customer during this process and hope that you have done the same. Follow the guidelines. I cannot say that enough. We do review of all of your metadata. By sticking to the guidelines, you can prevent failures that aren't caused by anything technical and can most likely be resolved well before submission. The guidelines are available on our developer site and give clear instructions on what to do and how to fix anything you're having issues with. You'll want to come up with something compelling and interesting for your assets. This example technically passes the requirements for hero art, we came up with this to show you that you can follow the guidelines, but what does the art say about the game? Is it clear to the consumer what title they're about to purchase? It's unclear. You can be extremely creative with your art while following our guidelines. Please, again, take the time to test your assets. It's important to get feedback early and often from testers and your potential customers. You are almost there. We will communicate with you when your application passes all of the review cycles. From here, we work with you on the launch date, categorization, and more. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email us at submissions at oculus.com. We're always here to help. 
Again, my name is Richard Duck, Star Operations Manager with Oculus. I look forward to working with you as you help create the future of VR with your applications. Thank you.